Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 12. So, we can start by moving this 12 over here. We have n power 2 minus n power 3. This is minus 12. And this equals 0. So, from here, we can have n power 2 minus n power 3 minus this 12 here, I can express it as 4 plus 8. 4 plus 8 is 12, so we have equals 0. Now, we are going to express each of these terms here in accordance to this exponent. So remember, 4 is 2 power 2, and 8 is 2 power 3. n power 2 minus n power 3. Minus 2 power 2 plus 2 power 3 equals 0. We multiply this out. n power 2 minus n power 3 minus 2 power 2 minus 2 power 3 equals 0. n power 2 and minus 2 power 2. n power 2 minus 2 power 2 then minus n power 3 minus 2 power 3 equals 0 factor out negative n power 2 minus 2 power 2 minus n power 3 plus 2 power 3 equals 0 So we can expand, we show this. This we are making use of difference of two squares. A squared minus B squared equals A minus B times A plus B. A equals N, B equals 2. For this, A power 3 plus B power 3 equals a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b power 2. So a equals n, b equals 2. So we are making use of that. Now let's set them here. We have a minus b and minus 2 times n plus 2 minus this, which is n plus 2 times n squared minus n times 2 plus 2 power 2 equals 0. From here, we have n minus 2 times n plus 2 minus n plus 2 times n squared. This is minus 2n. plus this is 4 equals 0 n plus 2 n plus 2 common factor out divide this by n plus 2 n minus 2 minus divide this by n plus 2 n squared minus 2 n plus 4 equals 0. n plus 2 times n minus 2. We multiply this. minus n squared plus 2n minus 4 equals 0. n plus 2 times is n minus 2 minus n squared plus 2n minus 4 equals 0. n plus 2 times n plus 2n, 3n. This is minus n squared plus 3n minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 equals 0. 
equate each of them to zero. Plus two equals zero. And as n squared plus three n. And as six equals zero. M equals negative two. Moving this over here, this is our M1, first solution. For this, we can divide each of these by negative one because we have division of negative here. This is N squared, 3N divided by negative one, negative 3N, negative six divided by negative one, plus six equals zero divided by negative four, zero. Now we solve this. Solve using formula method. N equals negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4 times AC divided by 2A. From here, N equals A is coefficient of N squared, that is 1. B is negative 3. C is 6, we have n equals negative times negative 3 plus or minus square root of this is negative 3 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 6 divided by 2 times 1. n equals this is 3 plus or minus square root 9 minus this 24 divided by 2 n equals 3 plus or minus square root of negative 15 divided by 2 from here n equals 3 plus or minus this minus here Square root of negative 1 times square root of 15 divided by 2. Square root of negative 1 here is i n equals 3 plus or minus i times square root of 15 divided by 2. We have two values for n, two complex values n2 equals 3 plus i root 15 divided by 2 n3 equals 3 minus i root 15 divided by 2 so that's how you can solve this exponential problem we have one real solution which is this and two complex solutions so let's go ahead and check by inserting this particular value for n Check n power 2 minus n power 3 equals 12. n equals negative 2. We have here negative 2 power 2 minus negative 2 power 3 equals 12. Negative 2, even number is positive. 2 power 2, this is positive 4 minus. Negative 2, odd number is negative. 2 power 3 is 8. Negative 8 equals 12. Negative 10, negative is positive. 4 plus 8 equals 12. 12 equals 12. So, to solve this, the first step is to Move this over here. From here, you split this into two parts, 4 plus 8. Express them in corresponding exponents, which is this. Expand and combine them. Group them. You group in accordance to their exponents. Minus, minus, we factor out the minus. Make use of difference of two squares to expand this. You make use of this other identity to expand this. 
then you have this. You factor out the common expression, which is m plus 2. You have it here. You divide this by m plus 2. You have this left. You divide this by m plus 2. You have this left. You simplify what we have here inside the bracket, multiply out and simplify. Then have a quadratic equation, which is half a quadratic expression, but this is negative. Take note of that. Equate each of them to zero. And for this, for you to solve this quadratic equation, you need to divide by negative one so that this coefficient here will change to positive. So after dividing, we have this. We then solve this using the formula method. So at the end, we have these complex solutions. So the two complex solutions are this one here. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.